Hello everyone, welcome back to another car park video here at Rush Green. Uh, a quick chat about um, David Moyes' press conference, which uh, finished a couple of hours ago and I'm just leaving now. Um, main talk po talking points from it, certainly in the broadcast section anyway, it's mainly team news because um, there's quite a lot of it. Um, we'll start with what we know. So striker Jan Lucas Kamaka has missed about a month with a knee injury. He is back in training. Uh, David Moyes has asked about him. He said that if he does make a squad, he's probably only going to get a cameo role at best. Um, but the fact that, you know, it's another player back, that is a boost. Uh, next up, Nair for Gerd has a chance. Um, obviously, he came off of a groin injury against Chelsea last weekend. He's got a chance of being involved. Not ruled out. However, one player who is ruled out is uh, midfielder Lucas Piquetta. Obviously, he got that uh, shoulder injury in the same game. Um, and the other player mentioned uh, was Maxwell Cornier. Do you know, it's been a bit of a, a running saga with journalists every week. It's a, where's Cornier? What's the rates with Cornier? Because no one's really, no, not even Moyes at times. Um, I think the latest we know is that a couple of days ago or recently, he um, put a video on his Instagram suggesting he was coming back soon. Uh, David Moyes said we'd certainly hope that's the case. I think he's due at training ground on Monday. Now, whether that means he's actually going to return to training, I don't know. But it sounds like it's a step in the right direction. Now, he has missed four and a half months of action. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, that means he might have to come back via a couple of games to be under 21s or something like that. Uh, potentially, depending where sort of West Ham are, the Conference League and, and where he is, you know, that could be a potential route as well. We saw it with Nair for Gwerd. Um, but of course, it was in the group stages, a bit more different when you're in the knockout rounds and, you know, there's. A, a play, you know, it's very two leg games can be very sensitive in the, in the sense that you know, a couple of mistakes and that could really prove costly. So, that might not be a route, it might be a 21s route for Cornier, but he's making a step in the right direction, which is a good thing for certain. No update on Zuma or Cresswell. I suspect Cresswell is bad. I'd be surprised if he isn't. He only missed a game last uh, weekend with a virus. So, you know, if, if he is absent this weekend, you'd think he'd definitely be back for Nottingham Forest uh, a week tomorrow. Um, some other bits as well, we'll all these quotes, by the way, are already up on Football London, so if you're watching this and want to go and read more, you know, please do. Um, he spoke about Antonio Conte's absence, obviously um, the Tottenham manager not in the dugout this weekend. Uh, he uh, had, I can't remember exactly who it was, but had a recent medical procedure, took a bit of time out, recently came back, but I think, you know, he might have come back a bit too soon, so he's not there. Moy spoke about him, someone he has a lot of respect for, um, so, so yes, there's plenty there. He also kind of mentioned about sort of how the LMA look after managers, which I thought was quite interesting. You know, it's not something that we hear all that often. So, you know, in terms of uh, health and, you know, well-being and that kind of thing. Um, obviously, uh, Moyes actually turned 60 later this year, I think, or he's 59 now, I know that much. So, so yeah, no, a few interesting little bits there. He also speaks about Danny Ings. Um, and his hopes for him. So, yeah, go and read that on Foot of London right now. And, uh, yeah, that's it from me. Um, all eyes now on to Tottenham on Sunday, and fingers crossed for a good result there.